everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is probably going to be pretty short. It's a haul and it's not too much stuff, but it's all stuff that I've either really wanted for a long time or stuff that I'm just really excited about. So I wanted to show you. So first thing is going to be a small order that I placed with Derm Store. And I think it was either last month or the month before in our My Glam bags. We got a coupon. I think it was um, like $15 off $30. I'm not 100% sure, but I did just purchase two things. And the first is the Too Faced Prime and Poreless Pure Oil Free, and this is a foundation primer. And if you have been watching, I think in my best of 2011, it was the Too Faced, the regular um, foundation primer one as my best primer. That is something that I have repurchased over and over again. And the one thing I always wished was that it was oil free. So I was really excited when this came out. I haven't used it yet. I just have a little bit left of the uh, regular formulation. So once I finish up that, I will be opening this and I'll let you know if I think it's as good as, hopefully, I'm hoping that it's even better than the original formulation. The other thing I ordered from Derm Store was the Paula Dorf Enhancer Baby Eyes. And this is a flesh tone eyeliner. And I love the Tarte one. And the Tarte's one is called the Inner Rim Brightener. And on days, unlike today, if I'm not wearing black or you know some kind of color in my waterline, I use that because I do suffer from some redness. And I feel like having that flesh tone inner rim uh, eyeliner really helps me look awake, helps me look just you know fresh and healthy. The one thing about the Tarte is that it doesn't have the long, longest lasting time. So if I use that, a lot of times I'll just stick it in my purse and reapply it throughout the day. But I do like the effect. So um, Redhead PhD, who has a YouTube channel and that I love to watch, she mentioned that the Paula Dorf has something similar, but that it lasted for a really long time. So I haven't used it yet, but it's quite similar. I have swatched it on the back of my hand. So I'm hoping that the effect will be the same as the Tarte, but that this one will last longer. I also went to Sephora and got some things that had been on my wish list forever. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, I love the Trina Tarantino Doll Skin Blush in Neapolitan Lane. And I love the formulation, how smooth and how long it lasts on my skin. So I knew I wanted another one from her. I had been looking at them for quite a while. And the one that really caught my eye was the shade Feather. And it is, um, on the website, I think it's described as a shimmery peach. And it's very similar to NARS Deep Throat that same kind of color and it's just a beautiful really light coral and while it looks very shimmery in the pan when you get it on your skin it's I would you don't see like actual shimmer it's just more of this glowy look and this color is so flattering and I just when I put this on in the mornings I just feel like it brings a lot of light to my face and I'm really really pleased with this purchase for my birthday back in January, the Sephora birthday free birthday gift were two mini of the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments, and one was in just the regular original original formula, and I gave that one to a friend, and then the other one was in the color Rose, and I ended up really liking it. Um, I don't have a lot of pigment naturally in my lips, so that rose really just helped give just a teeny bit of color and some shine, and of course I love how those sugar treatments really make my lips feel. So I had used up a full size of the original and that sample size of the rose, and I'm going to be filming an empties video shortly. So I went back and I repurchased the full size of the rose. And I love this. I love this for days when I don't feel like having a lot of lip color on and I also will wear this, you know, to bed and in the morning just as a regular chapstick. So really happy with this and I just like the little bit. I think if you have really pigmented lips, probably the rose isn't going to do much for you. But if you have, like me, not a lot of pigment, this just gives your lips just a very pretty natural look. I've been watching Lisa Lisa D One's channel for quite some time, and she did a either it was a foundation routine or just a regular tutorial. And she showed how she applied her foundation. She uses a BB cream like I do. Um, I use a Skin Seventy Nine. She uses um, something that I believe just she carries in her online shop. And on top of that, she likes the Laura Mercier um, Mineral Powder Foundation. So I had been, you know, debating going back and forth if I wanted to try that. Currently, I use a Too Faced pressed powder that I like. But it, that I hit pan on, so I thought maybe it'd be fun to try something different so I could give you know my opinion. So I picked up the shade, I believe it was the lightest shade, in Soft Porcelain. Um, I, I haven't had it that long, but I used it once over top of my baby cream. I felt like maybe I used too much. It looked a little bit cakey and powdery. And then I saw on Essie Button's channel that she uses the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder just by itself as her actual foundation. So I've been using that the past couple of days, and it's really nice. It's 
a very light, you know, it's, I'm not getting, you know, full coverage, but on days when, you know, I'm just going to work or just kicking around running errands, I've really been enjoying this. So once I get a little bit more and use it more, I will give some more feedback on this. I picked up another one of the Smashbox B Legendary Lipsticks. I already had the one in Posy Pink and just really loved the color and formulation of that. This is in the color Melon Drama and it's that same color that you just see everywhere in Sephora, that Pantone's color of the year Tangerine. This is that shade and I've worn it once full on, like actual, and it is very orange and I didn't know if it was too flattering on me. So the next time I wore it and I used it more as a stain where I just patted the lipstick and then just ran my finger over it to just blend it in. And I really liked the look with a bronze eye and this on my lip is very flattering. The last thing I picked up from Sephora was an Illamasqua nail polish, and this is only my second one, but I really am impressed with the um, formulation of Illamasqua nail polishes. This is in the color Jomina, and it is, um, it's described as a lilac, I believe, on Sephora.com, but it is deeper than that to me, and it is very, it's electric, and this is what I have on my nails right now, so I'll get a little closer, show you some swatches, and show you this nail polish up close. All right, so here are some swatches. The first is the Trina Tarantino Doll Skin Blush in the shade Feather, so just that beautiful peach. Right next to it is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in Rose. So not a lot of pigment, but it gives just a really pretty finished look to the lips. And on the bottom is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Melon Drama, so just that color that you see everywhere in Sephora, that tangerine shade. And then on my nails, I'm wearing the Illamasqua Nail Polish in Jomina. And then last night, I just ran in really quick to Ulta to pick up another one of the uh, Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body Scrub in Brazilian Nut. This was in my April Favorites video, and it is a wonderful body scrub, and I believe regular price, it's like seven, $7.50 or something like that, and I love the scent. Um, I think I described it as like a fresh cup of coffee, like a hazelnut cup of coffee, and I'm really impressed with this. It does the job, it's cheap, and it smells really good. A couple months ago, I tried a sample of a hair mask at Ulta, and this just the sample was $4, and it was in just a little paper baggie, and I got it, you know, when I was checking out at Ulta, I just tossed it in just to try it, and I really liked it. So I went back to buy the full size, but it came in this huge jug, and it was like $35, so I, you know, I held it in my hand, walked around, just felt like I couldn't spend that kind of money. But I look at it every time I go, and then I think Ulta had like a 20% off coupon, so I thought, oh, you know, I'll finally be able to use it. But I was reading the fine print, and it said you couldn't use it on any of the expensive hair brands that Ulta sells, so ha. Uh. So when I was walking around, I saw a whole display from the line, and it's the Macadamia Natural Oil, and they had this container, and it was... Um, it's about half the size, but it was half the price. So this was only $15. So now I'm gonna try this and use this all up and see if it's worth that 35 before I buy the huge jug. And I used it last night and I love the way that it makes my hair feel. It's really conditioning, but I don't feel like it, um, you know, made my hair too limp. It was still easy to blow dry this morning. So um, I will use this all up and then let you know if I'm gonna repurchase the largest size. All right, so those are the things that I have picked up recently. I'm really happy with all the purchases so far and the things I haven't used yet or I'm just still dabbling with. I will let you guys know what I think at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.